Detective Pikachu, the movie that every single like roughly around 20 to 30, you know, maybe younger, yeah, is finally here. This movie reflects upon all your childhood desires to gotta catch them all. You know, it's movie. This movie's here. It's finally here. Um, before I actually like, I think prior to the release of the movie, when I when the trailer kind of showed, I watched the trailer and I thought to myself, what the heck? I ain't gonna watch this, but you know, I ended up watching it and guys, go watch it. It has all your favorite cute Pokemons, not in cartoon form, but like in really, really, really nice CGI form. But it's like, it's super well done. You could see Pikachu's fur like flying all over the place. It's like the best thing ever, but like, okay. And you know the drill, before we start reviewing, blah blah blah, go watch it, if you don't care, blah blah blah, spoilers ahead, blah blah blah, you get it. Now I do want to say that I do know that this is just a po another Pokemon movie, essentially, but like in 3D this time, and um, I do want to give credit to like the, the how the story is actually laid out. And I do understand um, as a Pokemon movie and as a movie that's like targeted towards kids, basically, it doesn't have like the, the suspense and, oh, you know, that we are looking for. But I will definitely go deeper into that after, you know, the spiel, spiel. And don't get me wrong, there is suspense and there is the ah, but then like, you know, at some parts you do find yourself like dozing off and kind of just potentially just staring at the screen and like what oh, you lost me huh kind of like feeling you know now into characters well you know there's tim the, the 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 main guy and then there's lucy the 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 side girl and then there's detective pikachu the pikachu um you know and what there's mewtwo mute spoilers mewtwo's in it um and essentially, it's just kind of like stopping Mewtwo. And there's just so many plots and twists. It's a, it's a Pokemon movie. It's like, it's a, it's, a po it's a Pokemon movie. Come on. So we begin with Tim finding out that uh, his dad has suddenly passed away from an accident. Um, but prior to that beginning, we see a car. Like, we see Mewtwo in a, a globe thingy trapped. And then we see a car zooming out. And then that's it. We flash to Tim. Um, now, yeah, Tim gets this news that his dad has died. And Tim is lonely because he does not have a Pokemon. Now, Tim heads to Rhyme City, the place where Pokemon and human live side by side in harmony and peace. Oh, well, that place is just where, you know, Tim's dad works. Uh, the, the dad that died. Yep. Now, of course, like because of the title, we all know that the movie essentially just revolves around Tim and uh, Detective po Pokachu, <laughs> Detective Pikachu, uh, solving the mysterious case of where is his dad? Is his dad alive? Is his dad um, not alive? Because he found Detective Pikachu, and apparently, a, P a, a Detective Pikachu was. Um, the dad's the dad's partner in crime but detective pikachu has amnesia and apparently you know tim's the only person that can understand pikachu and no one knows why until the end which i will get to later on okay so what they found out in rhyme city is that there is this r potion uh being distribute it throughout the city and the r potion makes uh pokemons into this crazy frantic stage where they want to kill everybody so detective pikachu and uh tim goes around kind of finding the traces of where the r potion was from and where it led um and of all this the girl lucy she was actually the media spokesperson thingy my bob um you'll see i don't know she her character does play but then it also doesn't so it was really confusing anyways anyways they uh found it to this like guy 
uh what's his name i don't know his name but he's like the ceo the main dude not the main dude but like he's the company person from like this media that created rhyme city um and you know he was trying to live blah 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 i don't know he told him oh your dad's still alive but where is he go find him shoo shoo and so yeah the adventure started you know before what i said before how tim and pikachu went around whatever um and then they found to a particular spot with lucy's help uh they went to this like the the, the, the gloam the, you know it's not important but they, they just they just found that they were testing that the the, the 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 evil people was testing the stuff on other pokemon to like manipulate their evolution you know stuff like that so you can find like uh different types of like pokemons that are supposed to be like super small but like now are like giant mountains and i don't know what the pokemon is called i'm such a i'm such a bad trainer okay i like to play pokemon but i like to play it with like for the story and not necessarily to get to catch them all but throughout the whole thing, uh, we see Tim creating this bond with Pikachu and, you know, with Tim not being able to catch a Pokemon by himself and like you really see the character development with uh, Pikachu and Tim, which is a really great thing to see. But then um, later on, we kind of found out that uh, Mewtwo was kind of manipulated and like tortured into giving off this R serum um, by the kind of quotation mark like the the, the, the bad dudes but I, let's just call them like the government so then Pikachu thought that he had betrayed Tim and uh, his father because uh, like he freed Mewtwo out but in fact it, it wasn't the case they were kind of like all helping each other at the end but you know, you know another story and then you have this like really great scene where Pikachu sings Ryan Reynolds is singing uh, the Pokemon theme song but like super sad it's the greatest thing ever. If I would have, if I had a copy, I would definitely like just download it ten times. You know, whatever. Uh, let's fast forward, right? It was just like so. Basically, the the evil scientist wanted to like infuse his mind into Mewtwo's mind, so then he can live forever, and he can live like his consciousness would be in Mewtwo. And then he wanted everybody. Like he thought that like the 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 biggest plan for him was to basically um like infuse humanity's minds into their pokemons and that's how you know he wanted to save the day but of course that's like taking people's free will and um and yeah that was basically the movie now th now the ending was what i totally predicted halfway through um so the reason why uh tim could understand detective pikachu was that mewtwo had well pikachu had offered his body for the dad so mewtwo fused the dad and pikachu together and that's why ryan reynold is pikachu you know it's actually pretty smart in a sense that you use you know you, like at the end ryan reynolds was the the dad of tim so that's why he was the voice of pikachu now if none of that just made sense go watch the movie um if you had watched the movie already well you know you you basically know what i'm talking about man and you know going on with cgi like i said before this movie was greatly made it was it was so beautiful it's literally how you imagine what having a pokemon in real life would be like and you know a pikachu of course ryan reynolds you know there's a bunch of one-liners that made the audience laugh um but you know overall i would definitely recommend it as like a movie that you want to watch on a saturday night and you ran out of other movies to watch um 
you know, it's it's a Pokemon movie, man. Go out and get, get catch them all. By the way, I also like um prior to going to the theaters after getting my tickets, you go in, you get a free free deck of Pokemon cards. Like, come on. Who wouldn't want free Pokemon cards in addition to a great wholesome very very pika pika movie, you know?